Google Slides. I love the Google Slides app on my phone. It is so helpful for when I'm on the move. As you can see, I'm in the car right now and I have the Google Slides app right here on my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. Apparently now I'm sideways. Hey, I'm gonna click the plus icon so I can create a new presentation. Although you can see that I can access all of my other presentations right here from my phone. So I'm gonna do plus, I'm gonna do a new presentation, and I'm right in here. Now you'll notice that it says up here in the corner, untitled presentation. I'm gonna double tap on this, and I'm gonna type Alice Keeler. Just type right onto the slide. And then up here where it says untitled presentation, I tap on that in the upper left, and you see that it's just gonna default to naming this presentation what I put as the title on that first slide. So that makes it really easy to name my Google Slides. Now honestly, it doesn't really matter if you name your Google Slides from your phone or from your laptop because they are going to save to your Google Drive no matter what, whether or not you are naming on any device, it saves it. So I have a lot of things in my Google Drive that say untitled presentation, untitled document, and I know that I'm not going to lose my work whether or not I am on my mobile device or in Google Drive. So let's go ahead and head back. I'm gonna do back, and you can see that I am in Google Slides app on my phone and it did save these slides right here. Now if I switch over to my computer, that is gonna be right there and be able to find it. So it's really nice to name it, but it's not required. I'm gonna do a plus sign. I'm gonna choose a new presentation. And you'll see under these three dots menu, I have several options that are in here, including I can access the Q&A history if you use the feature of people being able to ask questions. So you want to use those, you can share and export, but I recommend that the first thing you do is go ahead and rename your presentation. Oop. And I want to, Alice in the car, done, All right? So I can move this into folders in Google Drive. I can make it available offline, which you're seeing the default is that it is available offline. So this is a really great option when I'm traveling, I'm gonna be on a plane, and I don't really know what my Wi-Fi situation is gonna be. I make sure that my device is ready to go, that I make the presentations available offline before I get on that plane. But having it named is obviously a lot easier to find it over here in my Google Drive. So this is Google Drive, but filtered for Google Slides. And I've installed that app right to, oops, let's, <laughs> I've installed that app right to my phone. So you wanna make sure that you install the Google Slides app so you can have access to all of your Google